Welcome to Juniper Highlands Homestead. My name is Dave. Today we're going to be learning how to use a water level. A water level is a very simple tool that's used to measure the differences in height between two points or to see if things are level. A water level is a great alternative to using something like a laser transit which can cost hundreds of dollars. I built this entire water level for less than $25 and it does the same job. It's not quite as fast and efficient as the, level, the laser transit but uh, the cost savings really makes it worthwhile. A water level is really easy to build. All you have to do is start with an eight foot piece of two by two and cut it exactly in half. Then you attach two yard sticks or meter sticks to each post, making sure that they're aligned perfectly with the top and one side of the post. I've then attached a 20 foot length of half inch tubing to the sides of both posts. The clips here that I'm using, you can find in the electrical aisle of Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, then you fill the tube with water. Now I've used food coloring in my water so it's a lot easier to see when you're making a measurement. Um, filling with water is probably the trickiest part of making a water level because there's going to be bubbles in the line. So you may end up having to blow into the one of the ends to try to push the bubbles out or to you can lower one end down and let some of the water flow out and that'll get the bubbles out. But it's really the hardest part and it's not that bad. It To use a water level, all you have to do is set one post on the first point that you want to measure and then the second post on the second point you want to measure. Now the water level measures the difference between those two points. So I can't stress this enough. When I first started using this, uh, I, I kept trying to see what the reading was exactly and I, I was trying to read it like you would measure with the ruler, but really we're looking for the difference. So right now, this post here is at about 20 inches. The water level is at about 20 inches. And over here, the water level is at 15 inches. That tells me that there's a five inch difference between these two points. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I've shoved both of these posts into the ground at different heights. So you can see that one post is definitely higher than the other. And we're gonna use the water level to see the difference between the two. As you see here, the water is actually found its level. It's at the same exact point, except the ruler gives you a different reading. So the one on the left reads at about 15 inches, and the one on the right reads at about 21 inches. That tells you there's close to six inches difference between the height of these two posts. There are all kinds of uses for a water level on the homestead. And in this case, I'm digging the foundation for a cabin that I'm building and the natural contour of the land is not flat as in most cases. So there's about a 10 inch difference between the front and the back of where I'm excavating. If I simply dug two feet down all the way around, I would end up with a, that same slope at the bottom of my building and I don't want that. I want it to be flat and level. When I first started this excavation, I dug a hole right here that was two feet deep and I used the water level to measure it. Over here, this post that's at ground level is reading 35 inches. And over here, you'll notice that the water has leveled out. It's at the same place, but it's at a different reading on the yardstick. It's reading at 11 inches. So the difference between those two is 24 inches. And that tells me that this spot on my left post is 24 inches lower than the spot that's on my right post. So I'm going to use this, the spot right here on my left post to check for level with the rest of the foundation. I've just finished excavating this portion right here, so I'm going to take a measurement to make sure that the bottom of this is level with that point that we just measured as two feet below the surface. So I'm going to keep my post right where our other measurement was, and then I'm going to put this post over here where I've just excavated. And if they're level, the reading will be the same. So it takes just a second for the water to balance out. This is where it's good to have two people to do this. What I'm doing today, I can get away with this, but uh, when it's a longer stretch between the posts, then it would re really be a lot better if there were two people. 
Okay, so I'm getting 23 inches over here and 22 and three quarters over here. Now my range of tolerance is about a half inch and I'm within a quarter inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. Now that I've dug out even further, I'm gonna show you how to make a measurement by yourself when you have to cover a longer distance than your arms will reach. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find that initial point that I measured, my starting point, and I'm gonna find a point over here that is perfectly level. It's important that it be perfect, not, not within the range of tolerance, because if it isn't, then that will add up over the number of times you move the level. So I've got 22 and 22, that's perfect. So then I'm gonna move over here and measure this new area I've dug out. And if it is even, I am good to go. So in this case, I have 23 and 22 and three quarters. So that's within my range of tolerance. Uh, so I'm good to go here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.